Howdy folks, I'm Robert Johnson and I'd like to introduce to you to the wonderful wide world of vintage radios. Now the main reason I like fixing old radios is because you're rescuing a piece of history from the junk heap and I feel that most anybody with, uh, with some basic mechanical knowledge can repair these old sets. I'd like to show you some of the radios that I work on. Okay folks, now this is a uh, a model 931 Spartan. This is from 1928. This is a very, very sweet radio. And this one is a 1928 Philco Model 511. And this is what it, this is. These metal radios are also known as coffin radios. Now sometimes they are called bathtub radios. Now this set is a 1929 Atwater Kent Model 55C. Now this set here is known as a high boy because of the longer legs. Some of the sets in my collection are low boys because of their, their shorter legs. Now this one is a 1931 Atwater Kent. Now this set here is known as a cathedral radio because of its shape. This is the grill cloth or the speaker uh, area. And here's the, some of the knobs. This is the on and off knob this knob is the tone control knob, this knob is the volume knob, and this knob controls the main tuning of the radio. This is a 1930 Model 105 Gefillin. It's very, very primo condition from the late 20s and early 30s. Sometimes they would have the switch on the side and sometimes on the front. This, uh, this knob here is the volume control. This is main tuning. The main tuning control and this one is the tone control you can have it bass or treble or somewhere in between so this set here is a 1928 model 40 at water Kent radio now this is what you would call the very bottom of the line now this is what you would call the econo version of a radio and this is the on off switch here this is the main tuning and this is the volume control and this here this little knob here is a nice little nice little feature this is called the vernier control because you can press on this knob and you can get the station exactly where you want it now this set is a 1940 zenith radio this is a three band radio with its own uh, with its own soundboard now this section here is basically for your tuning of your stations if you want to go to automatic tuning you press the button it goes it goes to that particular station that you tune to now uh, this setting is the automatic setting this setting is standard broadcast this is shortwave band number one and this is shortwave band number two now this is a 1935 Philco model 620 and this is what you would call a tombstone, but this is a different type of tombstone from the other, most other tombstones. This one is you would call a shoulder tombstone. Now this set is a 1935 RCA radio, model 9T, 9 Taylor, and this one is a five band radio. It, has, it comes with a tuning eye and a whole bunch of neat features. This is a 1935 um, RCA radio, model CF11-1. This is a, a three-band radio, and it has a rather unique feature. It has a clock-like tuning dial, and it also has a tuning eye. And I'll give you a demonstration how the tuning eye works. Now well, this is a 1934 Bilko uh, two-band radio. Now the unique feature of this uh, this particular set is a uh, shadow meter, and which is a type of uh, tuning indicator, uh, previously shown on the 1935 uh, RCA Model C11-1. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video of mine. And in my next video, I'm going to show you how to shop for a radio.